I'm Jeff Nimnick. And I'm Rick Paulette. And we're the hosts of The Last Stand. Coyote hunting is my passion. And coyote calls are my livelihood. And together we aim to bring you the best predator hunting tips, tricks, and tactics right down to The Last Stand. The Last Stand, presented by Lucky Duck Predator Calls. We are the masters of deception. Swagger bipods. Shoot with confidence. Shoot with swagger. On X Hunt. Know where you stand. Hornady. Accurate. Deadly. Dependable. You know, I do a, a lot of stuff on my own throughout the winter where I just show up to a place where I've never been before. And it's nice to wing it, but there's times when you're like, man, I wish we were with somebody that kind of knew, you know, and that's been the biggest attribute hunting with John and Jim is that they've hunted this, they know they're coyote hunters. They know where the coyotes are gonna be. When we say, hey guys, it's blowing 30 mile an hour. We need to find spots where we can get in out of the wind. And, and they can say, yep, I know how to get there. That's huge, because you can put together a plan. You can be more efficient. You know, you can crank out, you know, 16, 18, 20 stands in a day and just gives you that many more opportunities to kill coyotes. Welcome back to another episode of The Last Stand. We're still here in South Dakota. It's our second day. We're on our third stand. If you watched the previous episode, you saw we started off pretty good this morning. The last two stands, we've killed two coyotes. So wind's picking up just a little bit, but from what we've seen, we've been seeing a few coyotes moving. Coyotes have been responding to the call, so I'm gonna kind of stick with it a little bit. A little more open stand than we have been. We got a couple draws, one to the left, one to the right, but it's probably six, 800 yards up into there where the cover's at. So I'm gonna probably use a louder sound on this one, like Lucky Pecker, uh, you know, maybe even TNT Cottontail for the first maybe four minutes. And then after that, I'm gonna, you know, get into some more aggressive pup distress, pup fights for, you know, another six or eight minutes. Jim's covering the downwind clear around the left. But uh, we got a great little pocket here. We're tucked into this little rock bank. If we get a coyote, it should be right at the call. The one to the right coming right here. He's dead. Nice. Coyote came from hard right, not really where we were expecting him to come from, but he was straight up wind. I didn't think he was gonna stop, so it's a lot easier to kill them when they're kind of lined out coming at the call. Then after they smell it and take off running. There we go, that is a double, eight minutes in. Killed the first one with some lucky pecker, right at the call. John spotted this coyote maybe 750 yards cutting across the hill. Just took a little bit of coyote coon fight. And we got to watch him come from a long ways. That was great, he came on a string. He was kind of getting to the downwind part. We didn't want to lose him behind that hill. I told John here, I shot a giant coastal brown bear last year, right, Jeff? Yeah. My blood was pumping harder right there than it was on that, <laughs> I think. It's always tough when you when you see him and he disappeared and you don't know where they're going to come over and then he, he came right on a line and then he kind of starts fading downwind. You get a little nervous. I got nervous because I thought he was going to slip by this little cut right here and we'd lose him. Well, you know, I hit my preset that those it's I those know. challenge howls yep. Yep. and it stopped him. But then once schoolyard brawl come on, then he started running up to the dang thing. Yeah, I, <laughs> I got happy when he started coming at us and he was coming straight down my barrel. So I thought I'm going to shoot another runner. That's what I should have done on that coyote on that last stand when he was running chest on. Yep. Just 
cartwheeled him, tripped over his own feet. You made a killer shot on this first one too, bud. We don't need Patterson with a shotgun to roll him right at the call. <laughs> no way. <laughs> yeah, that was cool, Stan. Good job. John narrowly escaped death walking in here, about stepped on a whole den of rattlesnakes. <laughs> We're trying to tuck up into these rock piles on these corners, obviously it's great cover. We could blend in real great up here and it gets us out on a point where the call, but there was three or four rattlesnakes piled out on this little edge. Must be a den getting ready to go for the, in for the winter, but once again, set up, got a big crosswind here calling into a big wind a crosswind is usually good just your sound carries that much further so just a bunch of little rocky outcroppings could be coyotes laid up in there thick bottoms with buck brush and grass lots of stuff here within about six eight hundred yards so we're just going to rip it we can see very we can probably see 400 yards around us so we're not going to sit here very long maybe six minutes if they're coming they ought to come pretty quick if they're not they're just not here Here we go. Little pup coming right here. Woo! That kite was way up at top, upwind. It's only been about three minutes. That's normally what you get in big winds like this. You're usually set up right on them. Doesn't take long when you do it right. He's been talking crap about how you can call him in the wind and We've made a bunch of stands where I was, I said, what did I say? Oh, he talks and tells everybody how to call him in the wind, but he sure as crap can't call nothing in the wind. And then he, he finally did. But I'm sure, like he said, you just got to grind it out and it'll, it'll pay off eventually. That was a really cool hunt. I liked how the coyote came off this big hill and you could tell it was a pup. I could anyway, and that he was excited to get down here like it was going to be his first catch that he ever got that he could eat on his own or something just something about the way he came in he was it was kind of cool heck yeah we'll always remember that as the rattlesnake coyote stand the joys of early season coyote hunting watch where you're walking now we got to figure out we drive down there or i gotta drag that thing all right, I like it.